short. So now, basically, I have all my weight on this back leg. I can move the front leg anywhere I want it, right? I'm facing about 45 degrees up the table. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to shift the weight because I have 100% of my weight on my back leg and I want to get 100% of my weight on my front leg, all right? So if we're setting this up and I can't lift my front leg, it's not going to work. If you're like this, it's not going to work because now my weight is sitting in between these two bases of support. And if I lift one of them, then I'm going to fall over. If I lift this, I'm going to fall that way. But if I have my leg straight underneath here, I can lift this leg and move it wherever I want. Make sense? So for this particular adjustment, basically what you need to put the front foot right about where the belly button is. Okay. So just like right in the middle. So I'm going to put my front foot there as close to the table as possible. So let me do this in order. I'm here. I get my contact first. Okay. Then I know my hands about there. I put my front foot at about that level or slightly above. In this case, it'll be right around the belly button. And then what I'm going to do is I shift all my weight onto this lead leg. And now the back one has no weight on it. Okay. All my weights on the back leg, all my weights on the front leg, back leg, front leg. When all my weights on the front leg, I can let this slide backwards this way and I allow his leg to roll away and I bring him over. Hi, my name's Tom Anderson. I've been in practice for seven years. The biggest takeaway I got from this seminar was just how much improving I can actually do to be a better practitioner. I'm so excited that I've learned so much this weekend and can continue to improve moving forwards. If you're on the fence, just come on down. I got so much out of this weekend and coming next year, I'll be bringing my entire team of multiple practitioners.